Hi, I'm Greg, your car angel. In this video, I'm going to teach you how to clean a convertible top the easy way. So I'm at a car wash, and a car wash is actually the perfect place to do this. And the reason is because you have everything here and it makes it very easy. You can do everything out of your driveway, of course, but why would you if you have everything you need right here? Now the procedure for washing the convertible top is identical whether you have a fabric top, which is what this is, or you have a vinyl. The only difference between those two is in the very last step. So I'll show you how that will go. Now the first thing you want to do is just brush the surface off and get any obvious uh, dirt that is on the surface and you have to use a soft brush and I'll be using uh, a couple of brushes for this. But the first thing is just to make sure you get all the obvious dirt off. Now it's time to vacuum the top. The step to this procedure here is that you first want to apply water onto the top. You don't want to put your all-purpose cleaner onto a dry top. Now there are a lot of gimmicky products out there that claim to be special products for this and maybe they work fine, but really all it is is a good, mild, all-purpose cleaner. In other words, if it's full strength, you want to cut it. After you rinse it and then apply your all-purpose, you're going to take your soft bristle brush. You don't want to have a hard bristle brush here because you don't want to destroy this natural finish that you have on this cloth top. After I sprayed the top with water only, now it's time to take the all-purpose and spray the top. After letting that soak a couple minutes, I'll take this and I want to gently use circular motion to clean the top. After scrubbing the top, I'm going to take my rinser. Now, keep in mind, I don't want to get too close with this because this is a power sprayer. You can do this with a garden hose, but keep away from a high pressure power sprayer. This is not particularly high pressure and it's not an orbital unit. And you'll see. In order for this to dry, you can let it sit out overnight and it will do a good job of that. But if you want to dry it right now, you take a lint-free microfiber cloth and you place it onto the fabric top and you press down and you let it wick the moisture away. And you can see exactly how that works. Now wicking is a better method than going back and forth like that, that would be uh, not an ideal way to do this. The final step to this procedure is after the top dries, you're gonna to wanna to put on a sealant. Before you apply the protectant, you wanna make sure that the top is completely dry. In this case, I let this sit overnight. Now, this is a canvas top, and I'm gonna be using a product made by Sumbrella, which is 303, and that's an excellent water-resistant protectant. If you have a vinyl top, you want to be using Trim Shine made by Stoner. The instructions on the 303 here uh, warns you of 
getting any overspray on plastic, vinyl, or rubber trim. And that's why I have this other rag in my hand, just because if I do have a little bit of overspray, I can wipe it very quickly. Now when you do the application, you want to use overlapping strokes. So you want to... I have a little bit of wind today. But you're applying it so that it's noticeably wet. And I'm going to make sure that I take any excess spray off right away as per the directions of the 303. So I'm just going to keep on doing that. Now I tend to put a little extra on the seam so I'll run this down one more time just on that seam. And you're going to do that for the entire top. That's going to need 6 to 12 hours of drying time and in that time you have to make sure that there's no moisture that's possible that's going to get on that surface. So I apply this every six months and it seems to do a great job on keeping the top protected and very water resistant. I'm Greg, your car angel. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Take care.